Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Slash Tokyo. I'm one of the community members. I'm so glad. I'm so excited to be here. So uh, let me introduce myself briefly. Uh, my name is Taizo Son. Um, I'm a serial entrepreneur for the last 20 years. And uh, uh, especially in these days, uh, um, I'm, I'm very eager to support the young entrepreneurs uh, the, in the world. So currently, uh, we are supporting almost 100 startups who is uh, developing uh, the cutting edge technologies to change the world better. So, uh, Asan, uh, could you introduce yourself? Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. Yeah. And, uh, first of all, thank you very much um, for having me here. It's very, it's my honor to be at this very exciting event. Uh, my name is Aya Miyaguchi. I, um, I am executive director of e the Ethereum Foundation. Um, and I uh, just briefly explain my little background in the industry. I've been in this cryptocurrency industry or crypto industry mm -hmm. um, or blockchain industry for a while since 2013. 2013. 2013. And then my original interest was um, the potential of the technology in social impact. Mm -hmm. And um, specifically in financial inclusion was my original interest, such as microfinance. And, um, and then I just joined the Ethereum Foundation officially last month. Mm -hmm. And then supporting Ethereum community and also foundation's activities. Um, so what, what is the purpose of the mission of the foundation? The mission of foundation is support. So Ethereum is one of the technology in blockchain. Yep. And the mission of the foundation is it's also created, um, founded by Vitalik and some others. And Vitalik is the creator of Ethereum. Um, and then he's very young, right? He's yeah, very young. To get, uh, the same generation with the slash. Uh, yes, yes, he is. Um, he's 24. 24 years. Yes. Oh, wow. And then um, maybe he looks younger. Mm. <laughs> but um, so the the mission of the foundation is support Ethereum platform, um, and also its research and development. Um, as well as education mm -hmm. and community activities. Uh -huh. So the way you organize this event is very, you said this, this is organized by all student volunteers. Um, so Ethereum community is very unique, decentralized structure. Uh -huh. The foundation itself is also a very decentralized structure. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's Actually, good. They're very consistent. Yes, and the technology itself is yeah. also decentralized. So everything is kind of a reflection of the yeah. technology. Mm. But uh, we also, the technology is really supported by the community. Mm. Um, so this is really the exact atmosphere that yeah, we have. Yeah, the same kind of. Yeah, yeah. the reason why um, the, the, beauty, the, uh, the decentralized architecture is... Uh, a very attractive for us is uh, the, in my opinion, uh, it's a matter of the ownership, sense of ownership. So, you know, that if it is a centralized and top-down approach, only some manager or leaders have a sense of ownership, and uh, others are fo just followers. So, uh, they, they, uh, it's very hard for them to to get the ownership. This is ours. This is mine. It's very difficult. But on the other hand, decentralized, community-based, bottom-up approach kind of organization or the technology architecture, so everybody can feel that, that this is mine, this is ours, and they contributed to each other. So that's why, uh, so in, especially in these days, that this kind of the decentralized uh, everything is very becoming very popular, especially for young generation. Yes. Um, what do you think? So that's exactly the reason why there are a lot of different technologies and platforms in blockchain now. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I decided to support Ethereum, among all others, is the philosophy, um, of the philosophy that's in the technology, but also how we organize everything. Um, 
and then it's like I said, it's it was created by Vitalik, but his vision was already in the beginning that this is that this is going to be open source. You can all participate. Anyone can actually contribute to mm -hmm. make the technology better. Um, and then so every day, community members suggest ideas. Um, and then we can all work together. It's not ours. It's created by someone in the foundation, but it's, it's everyone's. Everybody's. That you are the one who is going to make this better, mm. working together with us, and we are going to be just a, the supporter of the whole um, idea. Mm. And that's where we believe we can make the biggest impact. Mm instead of like trying to control I see. everything, yes. Um, when it comes to that kind of subject, um, I have a four years old boy, and uh, I'm always uh, asking to myself that if I die tomorrow, what kind of message I will give to my son? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so only one phrase or so, and it's very difficult question to answer, but, but I'm always asking to myself that kind of things because I'm very passionate to updating that education system to the new one from the traditional one. So, um, and then um, I, come up, I came up with one idea that uh, if, if, if I can tell my son only one phrase, I will, I will tell this kind of things. We can change the world. You can change the world. Because the reason why I, I selected that phrase is that, uh, of course, uh, if I could tell many phrases, I like to tell many things. But uh, um, if I choose only one, um, the sense uh, that uh, I like to tell, uh, I like to share the sense that we can change the world and you can change the world. Then, uh, if he really feel, really believe that uh, he can change the world by himself, then uh, they, he will start uh, trying very hard to cre create any kind of things and working very hard by himself. But otherwise, uh, if he hasn't, doesn't have that kind of feeling, he doesn't uh, do any kind of creative things by himself. So um, I like him to... to uh, to live his own life mm. and enjoy his life. That's all my message as a parent. So that's why I chose the message. And uh, um, uh, I feel the slash community, the same kind of things. Everybody, every volunteers, every partners, uh, we can do something. We can change. Uh, if we uh, get together and combine our power, we can change the society. We can change uh, people's mindset. So that's why I love the, this atmosphere. Yes. So I have joined many conferences and exhibitions in the world, but most of the cases uh, that it's a very centralized, uh, run, owned by the government or owned by the company, uh, and they are promoting and they spend a lot of money and creating a great uh, atmosphere, but uh, completely different. So um, the slash is uh, very special to me. That's because uh, I. I I can feel that kind of sense. Yes. Um, so until today, um, this is my first experience at Slash, and and then um, I just saw students talking to you right before this talk. That was very. Uh, I used to be a teacher <laughs> in Japan. Oh. Um, I have very strange background, but so I do care about education, and then I have uh, similar to you. I have very broad definition of education. This is the part of, it has to be part of the education. And I just, I'm feeling this excitement. I don't know, how many of you guys are actually volunteers uh, working here? I'm pretty sure. Volunteers, please raise your hands. <laughs> oh, uh, volunteers are very busy to work. Busy to work. <laughs> so they are not listening yes. to this. Uh, oh, yes. Like, um, but, but I just, so this is really the, an opportunity for them to participate, mm. uh, to organize this. It's, it's such an exciting feeling. And, and then I was just thinking, I, you know, like we were supposed to talk about blockchain a little, but I thought, oh, this is the exact um, 
the, the part of the world that we want to we want to create yeah. uh, within blockchain because again like it's 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 the community it's people and we want to give the power back to every single person and mm. then let them believe they can be the change part of the change mm. which I didn't growing up in Japan I I wasn't told that I could change the world and then just just to believe that or the message that you want to send to your son it it does it does uh, um, impact his life yeah. like if if he can actually start believing that now and but it is too everyone can be part of the change and and then um, I, the reason why I like the technology that I'm in is it, it is giving the power back to everyone. Like it's not the central big companies or a yeah. big group. Um, I, I recall that, that this uh, memory that my father, my dad, uh, told me uh, the, the message, very interesting message always uh, when I was a kid. Um, when I came back from school and when he was there, Oh, oh, welcome back, uh, Taizo. Uh, hey, what did you, what did you learn uh, at the school? He, he frequently asked uh, that question to me. And uh, oh, oh, I, I, I learned, today I learned math, mathematics and uh, like this and that. Oh, that, that's cool. But Taizo, listen, don't trust teachers, <laughs> he said. And I was so surprised. What? What? Why, why are you telling me like that? No, sometimes uh, the teacher tells a lie to you. So you should not trust completely. So don't trust teachers. <laughs> so, uh, I was so I was always wondering why he was telling that kind of thing. Why he was asking me that what did you learn and uh, uh, they don't trust the teacher and so on. And uh, so uh, until I grew up, uh, I couldn't understand uh, why he, he did like that. But when I become a dad, father uh, of my son, uh, one day I could, I could understand. Mm. It's because uh, he, um, the, his, his main message was, uh, he liked to tell me um, that you should think by yourself. So don't stop thinking. Say it's, a, it's a matter of critical thinking, right? But uh, so the reason why he told uh, that message, to the, like a weird expression, like a don't, tr don't trust teachers or something like that, is that uh, um, he liked to make a big impact to me, mm. big impression to me. So that's why he uh, did a very creative way that uh, don't trust the teachers. So that's why I me clearly memorized it. <laughs> so um, it's... If he told me uh, that you should, you should do the critical thinking or you should think by yourself or something like that, I, I will forget, maybe. But I'm me memorizing uh, very clearly is that uh, he, he chose the very interesting phrase like that. So, um, so that's why, but thanks to that, my dad, uh, I, I could get uh, critical thinking very nicely. So that's why um, I could be, uh, yeah, in a, in a true sense, I, I could be the entrepreneur. You know, entrepreneurs or innovators, creators, artists, they have a critical thinking uh, and the critical views, and they will bring the, uh, some new things in a different approach, different angle. So um, I think uh, that that is a very important uh, the, the kind of skills or mindset and so on. And when I met Vitalik, I felt that kind of strong uh, sense of uh, critical thinking and create, create a very new things, which is very good to the society. So um, in a sense, I, I'm very happy and very passionate to be the part of the, the Ethereum community and uh, in a sense that the decentralized uh, movement. So. Yeah, Slash is actually obviously the decentralized movement, and uh, Ethereum is also the same. 
So, but I think, I'm sure that this kind of movement will pop up from now on uh, in the many places. Yes, um, so um, you pointed out the good point. So we are a collection of researchers and developers uh -huh. within the foundation, but also in the community. But it's actually, um, it's not just math and science. It's, it's, it's all about, I, I don't think Vitalik ever thought he created something perfect. Like, like it was a start. And it, he created Ethereum. That was the improvement version of Bitcoin. Yep. When he, he just wanted to ask along people, like, what do, you, what do you think about Bitcoin? And then people's response and feedback, how we can improve. And then that's, that's how Ethereum was born. Mm. And so it wasn't like he, he wanted to be perfect in the beginning. This is, this is going to be the start. And then we have to keep um, being creative. And what if now, like, so everyone is using Ethereum now to create their own token. Yeah. Um, so that's why we are here <laughs> to talk about token economy. Mm. Uh, so now it's more popular. And while people started using this <coughs> technology more, it's, the, the system has to improve <coughs> because it's, it's kind of too, too slow to process now. And then... <coughs> it's okay. Uh, could you... Hey, uh, the, the water, please. Sorry. I should have brought a bottle. And then, so they have to come up with very creative idea of scaling. How to scale Ethereum to make it quicker. <coughs> Darika, uh, could you send me, <laughs> could you give me us, uh, the water, please? <coughs> oh, thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Arigato. Thank you very much. Sumimasen. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> yeah. See my thing. Um. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so blockchain is all about the decentralization. If you want to make more out of it, but if you want to make the process, the transaction quicker, you kind of have to compromise the decentralization. Mm. <coughs> but Ethereum didn't want to. The Vitalik didn't want to. So they have to be very, they had to be very creative. How can we scale without compromising the decentralization? Without compromising decentralization. Yes. That's the key, right? And then among all others that the Ethereum was the one who was very stubborn. Hmm. We're not gonna um, go with a quick solution. This is gonna take a while. We need everyone's brain to work together, mm -hmm. but we will make this happen. Scale the Ethereum um, platform without compromising the decentralization. Mm. Because if we miss the decentralization, um, our main goal to create this, the whole world of decentralization um, is not going to be accomplished. So um, it's. It is very kind of stubborn way to proceed because if you talk to investors, they care about, oh, you have to make your product work very quick. Um, yeah, actually, um, the, the today's uh, the issues of the, the blockchain technologies uh, is uh, the scalability and also the efficiency of the computation uh, and productivity and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there are some uh, solutions like a side chain or uh, the lightning networks or the, the, the plasma and so on. Uh, so what, what is the exciting uh, latest project uh, to solve those issues? Mm. Um, so latest project, uh, those are uh, uh, especially um, um, exactly what you mentioned. Um, there, is there, there, there is sharding and also plasma you mentioned. Those are the two main scalability solutions that 
are being developed with ATM. And then I was just in Taipei before coming to Tokyo. There was a sharding workshop. Mm -hmm. And then it's not, again, it's not just within the foundation group. We found good contributors in the community. Mm -hmm. Oh, these group are actually doing a good job doing research on sharding. And then this person, individual, is actually doing a job, uh, uh, you know, like providing new idea to sharding. And then we just collected those community members in Taipei <coughs> and they did the workshop. And it's, it's another example of how we work with the community members. Mm -hmm. I see. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no, it's okay. Um, yeah, um, tonight, uh, the, you have uh, the, the workshop? No, uh, the lecture. Uh, yes. So we will have almost first uh, Ethereum community meetup. The first community meetup first in Japan. First community meetup. Oh, wow. In That's J awesome. In, in Japan. In Japan. Um, it's been happening in the world. Mm. And then it is not us who is organizing this. It's the community members. Oh. Um, and again, we only support community members, not us organizing everything. I see. Yeah. So there will be a meetup at Tokyo University collecting um, researchers and developers and the interested group. Mm. And then um, the plan is to have more of those events in the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'd love to have anyone who is interested to learn a little bit more about Ethereum. And then there are a lot of great projects out there who are doing great things. It's something like education you mentioned. I see. Blockchain can be used for that too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, that it's that tonight's uh, meetup is f uh, already free booked. But uh, maybe I'm sure that uh, they will uh, they continue the, the, this, those kind of meetups and events uh, the summer in Tokyo. So if you're interested in uh, the, the blockchain uh, or the Ethereum and the, the latest projects, please join us. Uh, so it's uh, one of the hottest areas in the world, uh, bringing a new innovations to the world. So definitely a very exciting, uh, interesting guys, the crazy guys are there. So you should be connected. So the may, of course, the such community will be uh, connected to those network, so that we can uh, the accelerate those innovations. So uh, the stay tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.